Chaos ensued for college football on Championship Saturday, as there's a lot of situations to break down, but before I go into a couple specific situations, let's just go into the odds as a whole, because seeing these odds with Georgia in last place out of these is giving us the assumption that the committee will not be putting Georgia in, which makes sense. They lost the SEC Championship, don't have really any notable wins, and I also think it's safe to say that Michigan and Washington, two undefeated conference champions, will be in, but now let's talk about Florida to state because that's one of the teams that's very controversial and overall this is just great for the sport because everything on twitter there's so much buzz people putting their top four debating it all of that but florida state they're 13 no if you're talking about teams that are deserving they're 100 a top four most deserving team and i feel like it would be a shock still if they got left out but obviously without jordan travis maybe they're not a top four team as far as vegas odds say now their defense did look incredible so that will be one thing to watch but undefeated conference champions champion Washington Michigan they'll get in Florida State they fit the criteria but we'll see if that happens and then Alabama they're in the other one they're a one loss SEC champion and with how much the SEC whether it's Bama or Georgia has dominated college football over the last however many years ever since there's been the college football playoff in place leaving the SEC champion with one loss out would be crazy especially since they the team they beat was the previously ranked number one team Georgia it was also their first loss in 20 29 games they've won back-to-back -back titles so if Alabama did all that and then didn't make it that would definitely be a crazy scenario in their own but there's a debate for it because if you look back earlier in the regular season Texas went to Tuscaloosa they beat Alabama they're also a one-loss conference champion now obviously beating Oklahoma State in the conference championship isn't as impressive as beating number one Georgia in the conference championship but if you want these non-conference games that they scheduled earlier in the year to matter then Texas Texas, even though it wasn't Alabama at full strength right now, they went to Tuscaloosa, they won on the road, and if you want to give these teams incentives to to schedule these great games that everyone wants to see, then it feels like you have to put some weight on them. Yes, Jalen Milrow wasn't who the Jalen Milrow was today that just beat Georgia in the SEC championship game, but there still has to be some weight, so there's just so many ways to go with this, because I think right now, Michigan and, Was and Washington, they'll be in, but now it's basically Basically, Texas, Alabama, and Florida State battling. Two of the teams will make it. One, the team will be left out. One fan base will be angry, and rightfully so. All of them definitely have a very fair case to make it, whether it's an undefeated conference champion, whether it's beating the one seed Georgia and winning the SEC, or whether it's beating Alabama and then being a one-loss conference champion like Texas on, on themselves as well. Let me know who you guys think should be left out and what the four should be.